guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a sit down video. I wanted to just talk to the camera. I haven't done that recently. I've been doing a lot of more workouts and then voiceovers, so I miss you guys. And before I get started, I have officially made it to the East Coast. I'm in the Manhattan area um, in New York and I am so excited to be here. If you're interested in more of my personal side or what I do every day, you can follow me on Snapchat, you can follow me on Instagram. I'd love to connect with all of you guys and on Snapchat I post a lot more of my like personal day when I go out to brunch, stuff like that, who I'm with, where I'm going. So if you're interested in any of that, how I live my healthy lifestyle on the daily, check me out on Snapchat and Instagram. So today we're going to talk about maybe, you know, you kind of were starting a healthy diet, you started working out, you were going great, everything was going fine, and then you got busy or something happened and you fell off your bandwagon, maybe you got injured, maybe you started school, maybe you started a new job, maybe you just got bored. I'm going to share with you guys my top three tips to jump back on that healthy lifestyle so you guys can feel good on the inside most importantly and then hopefully feel good on the outside day to day as well. So my top tip for you guys, my number one tip is to be accountable. Now, you can have accountability in a bunch of different ways. So what I like to do with someone who is either just starting out um, on their fitness journey or really just needs to get back in, we all have that friend that's like, I wanna lose this many pounds and then they make no changes. And it's like, well, why are you complaining about it if you're not making any changes, uh, you know? So we gotta be accountable on ourselves. So the first way to do that is to write down everything you're eating during the day. If you're not a food tracker, I totally understand. If you don't wanna you know, scan your food, you don't wanna count your macros, I get it. It's not for everyone, especially someone who's beginning their healthy lifestyle or someone who you know fell off because they didn't they got bored and thought it was too much work so to to not track all the way maybe just keep a journal with you and literally write down everything you're eating during the day because guess what you're gonna say okay I had eggs and oatmeal for breakfast extra oatmeal if you're Jessica um, you know maybe I had like a Greek yogurt for lunch and then I had some pita M&Ms those tasted good, but I don't want to write it, but I did it. Okay, 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 okay. Time for dinner, time for dinner. Maybe you made some salmon, and then, you know, there was some Ben and Jerry's in my freezer. What am I doing? You know, you're not going to want to write these bad foods down. You're holding yourself accountable. You can also hire a coach. I macro coach, and I do take clients still. I'll be taking clients all summer, so if you're interested in something like that, you can always contact a good coach to keep you accountable because sometimes if you're paying for something, you don't want to fall off the bandwagon because you want your money's worth, right? Right. So those are my top tips for staying accountable. So my tip number two for someone who has fallen off the bandwagon or wants to start a healthy lifestyle is going to be to go to your fridge and your cabinets and get rid of the junk food. It's gonna suck, it's gonna hurt, I know you spent money on it, but if you have anything that you can donate, donate it, and if there's anything that's gonna go bad soon, just get rid of it. Doesn't if you're if you're about to start a healthy lifestyle, that does not mean okay. I'm starting my diet on Monday, so Sunday I'm gonna binge eat all the bad food that I can. No, no, just sit down, make decision, and say, hey, I want to feel good on the inside. So I'm gonna go to my cabinets. I'm gonna take away all the foods that don't make me feel good on the inside. So whether that's processed, you know, chips and white cookies, whether that's you know some sort of ice cream in your freezer or something like that, get get it out of your house. If you really want a snack, like if I really want a chocolate chip cookie, I love cookies, just like you, I love them. But if I really, really want them, I'm gonna go out of my house to go get them. And my third tip for getting back in this healthy lifestyle or starting out in general is to get excited about being healthy, get excited. Pinterest is amazing, it is your best friend. I love looking up new recipes, I always say, um, dinner recipes, healthy, dinner recipes, macro-friendly, dinner recipes, low calorie, dinner recipes, low fat, dinner, dinner recipes, low carb, whatever I want and to tailor to my desired needs for that healthy day, I could type it on Pinterest and it gives me tons and tons of options. I get so excited about trying something new. Um, I know there's now food companies that will ship all the ingredients to your house, like Blue Apron. I really want to try Blue Apron one day, or stuff like that, that you can you can tailor to your healthy desires. So get excited. Like, I already know what I'm making for dinner and what I had last night, and then I think about my breakfast, and, 
and you just start to you just start to consume yourself with this healthy thinking you know what do i want to put in my body you know i am someone that has been switching over to less processed foods maybe the only thing that i eat that's super processed would be you know once in a while with my oatmeal i'll have my walden farms pancake syrup in it because I really do enjoy it. But other than that, I've been eating a lot more whole foods and I found that my body has responded a lot better to that. I know when I go to a restaurant and I can manipulate the menu or find something on the menu that's actually healthy, it makes me so happy. I owe, I'm such a menu person. I love looking at menus. For example, I went to brunch the other day and I got eggs benedict with smoked salmon two poached eggs on a biscuit. I held the hollandaise sauce. I didn't really eat some of my potatoes that they gave me, but I asked for a side salad with the dressing on the side. So you can go out to eat and you can still be healthy and it make, it's kind of like a puzzle and it's fun. And as soon as you start to do it, you get, you get used to it. And yeah, it might take a little bit of, of uh, planning and thinking ahead and um, putting an effort to your healthy lifestyle, but I can promise you guys, after a certain amount of days and time and getting used to it, it's gonna come super natural to you. I go to restaurants all the time and I'm like, hey, put this sauce on the side, I'll take this, I want greens instead of that, I want this instead of that. And it's, you just smile and you put a smile on your face and it, they'll do it for you. I definitely use these three tips to help me keep going with my healthy lifestyle. I don't necessarily track as much as I used to, but I definitely keep myself accountable. Um, by watching the foods that I eat to make me feel good on the inside. I don't keep anything in the house that I don't think is gonna make me feel good on the inside and I don't keep anything like super processed. If I, anything like a treat, I will go out and get and then that's great because I obviously clearly wanted it because I left my house for it. And then I do get excited about being healthy. I love finding new recipes. I love looking on Pinterest. I love watching other people's YouTube channels. These are the three tips that really have helped me so I hope they help you. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any more sit down video ideas I'd love to hear from you. I could do nutrition. I could do more favorites. I could do fitness stuff. I could do Q and A's. What do you guys want to see? And I can do that for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.